Octopath Traveler is rated T for Teen by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Octopath Traveler. In the last episode, we had reached still snow and approached... I know this, it just happened, so I'm trying to go over everything. I'm so used to just running in circles though to start us off. Uh, so we had reached still snow and we had ap been approached by one of Primrose's old friends and servants from her time as the daughter of House Azelheart. Uh, her name is Ariana and she works at a brothel here at Still Snow, one of the darker secrets of this region. And Primrose is here because one of the men with the Mark of the Crow is also said to be the master of this brothel. So, we are about to sneak in, and yeah. So here we are. I totally forgot that I have Tressa, so I should be a bit more cautious about what I'm doing. Down. Also, I see a chest there. How do I get? Ah, I walked right by. Okay, so we have wind weakness. Thank goodness I brought Tressa. Light guardian, so dark will work better for them. So let's start with fire. No weaknesses to fire. Let's go. Hmm. Dressa will break those ones. I need a double hit of the daggers here. Go with the Tempest trade. And with Primrose. We're gonna do Naito. Excellent for Cyrus, who can now do Firestorm. And this is why I love Cyrus. Look how amazing he did. Speaking of, let's go see if Tressa's able to get a new skill. Skill. Not yet. Okay. So I'll showcase a few of those battles because obviously that's what we do here. We showcase battles. I have two green blinkings. Okay. That is green. So, lightning. Break the big dude. And let's summon our mercenary. Oh, I'm a dumb. I grabbed the wrong... I thought Primrose was the last fighter, but it's Tressa. Whoopsie. Night Ode. Break the other two. Lightning. Sword. Win. 
Oh wow, they are... Or maybe it's because of my magic stat. That might be why. Let's just do good damage there. Now let's go with the spear. Perfect. Now I know that Cyrus is out of SP. Okay. Inspiring Plum. Let's get the cutscene taken care of. Meanwhile... Enter. Oh, sorry. That's way too cheery for his voice. Master Rufus, pray have mercy and hear my plea. She was my only daughter. I spared no effort in raising her to be a fine lady. Each day, I brushed her beautiful hair and dressed her in the finest silks. She, she was everything to me. But then, then she was sullied by a son of a country lording, lordling. She could not bear being dishonored so, and on the eve of her wedding day, she took her own life in her shame. Never again will I stroke my daughter's long, beautiful hair. And when I think of that lordling living his days in luxury, with no punishment for his heinous deeds, it keeps me awake night after sleepless night. Master Rufus, please lend me your strength. Lend me your power that I might have vengeance against that sinful house. Father es Eschard? Fa <clears throat> Father Eschard. We are friends, are we not? But, but of course. And friends are always there with a helping hand in times of need. I trust you will lend me your strength when I am in need. You are a bishop in the Order of the Sacred Flame. You have much to offer me. Anything you wish, Master Rufus. Anything at all. Then it would be my pleasure to help you. You must be lonely after the loss of your precious daughter, Father. I will give you one of my own girls. Hmm, how about Ariana? She is close to your daughter's age and has a sweet enough disposition. Use her as you'd like and I trust you will enjoy her. Oh, thank you Master Rufus, truly. Your generosity knows no bounds. Debts are such a tricky business. Sorry, that's the wrong voice. But one must make hay. But one must make hay while the sun rise shines. I'm terrible at reading today. Okay, so... We got the cutscene, but we're going to cross here. Uh, aha! More money. Ooh, new creatures. They are wind. They will be weak to lightning. 
not weak to the sword. They're weak to the bow. Not to the dagger, but that dagger did 400 damage still. Gosh, I love this Forbidden Dagger. I know it was so expensive to get, but man, it was worth it. Okay. So, we seem to be on a time crunch now in order to defeat this Rufus, as he has just sold, um... Primrose's friend. I'm a. Uh, I'm very upset by that. I think that's light, so I need more shadow. Most likely, they're still weak to the bow as well. And I'm not going to use an Elemental Blast this time from Cyrus because it is more beneficial to use the staff as a weapon to bring. Steel. Nope. Now we'll use Lightning. Again, this is why I love having Cyrus on my team. A thousand damage each strike. Okay. Back over. And now we go up and I see the purple chest of the dungeon. Spiked Vast. Uh, it's pretty weak. Okay, we are back with Fighting Wind. Spear is the other one that we need to. So we'll weaken you by physical defenses. Go with the lightning. Next with the bow. Finish off the first defeat with the dagger. 700 damage just on the dagger alone. Gosh, that's powerful. Lightning bolt. Arrow. Sword or dagger. And we finish the battle. Next up, let's get to that next chest. Actually, we'll go down first. Now we'll go up. Now we'll go back down. Ooh. Okay, we have one lightning and three darks. So, scholar skill, lightning. Let's break the heavier one. Uh, Night Ode. And we know Tressa does not have powerful Tempest magic. So let's go... Another round of lightning. 
could have powered that up with Cyrus. Let's go with... Uh, Steel? Ooh, Light Soul Stones. Tressa defeated him. Excellent, Primrose. Okay, I think I'm good to start skipping battles. The Obsidian Parlor. We're gonna save. And in we go. Okay, so entering this battle, uh, there he is. Okay, so. Start with the dagger? No. Let's summon my mercenary. Okay, still nothing there. Lightning blast. 
least that weakens him. Next up, let's do wind. Because at least that's good against the bad guys. Uh, Scholar. I'm gonna do lightning again. We'll break his minions. He's weak to the spear, so Tressa is actually quite useful here. And that she can break him. Okay, they are all broken. I need to use the dancer skill. We'll do the Peacock Strut for Cyrus. With Therian, we're going to use a big heal. For the plums, let's go medium on Cyrus. Uh, Cyrus is going to do Lightning Blast again. Excellent, now we're just down to Rufus. Let's see, what can we collect? Nothing from him yet. Rest is for healing. I can donate BP. And we'll do that to Cyrus, because, like, that, it's awesome to be able to have him be so strong. Roundhouse Kick, which attacked like a sword, for some reason. Uh, these attacks do nothing. Let's go with... Tackling him to weaken his physical ability. Okay. Uh, let's do... Yes, this one. Uh, Cyrus again. Uh, we're gonna not blast things off. Let's go with the dark move. Oh, so he's weak to light. That is good to know. Okay. Cyrus uses lightning blast. Primrose will use... Let's go with an ice. Therian will go with stealing. Ooh, a refreshing jam. That's actually really nice. Tressa will stab him twice. Uh, item. Light Soul Stone. Lightning! 3,000 each. Uh, stabby Stabby. Stab. Make him physically weaker. Lightning. Let's summon my town person again. Merchant skill. Yeah, let's collect some money from him. Okay. Dagger. Let's 
sword. Lightning. And once you get into a rhythm with these boss battles, it's actually quite easy. Let's do a share SP with Cyrus. Cyrus is going to go full blast with the lightning blast. Oh wow, that still didn't kill him despite being in the red. We're going to go full dagger strike. Perfect. <laughs> the girl has some fight in her. How does it taste, my lady? Is vengeance as sweet as you dreamed it would be all these years? It has only just begun. Quite so. You have a long road ahead of you. Go home, girl. Go home to Noble Court. There you will find the truth you seek. If you have the strength to face it. Oh, he was dying. I clearly did not voice him correctly for that. It is done. Now two remain. So it is as I thought. You have sworn yourself to avenge Lord Jeffrey. I have. With the master dead, I am free now. You have my gratitude, my lady. What do you have faith in? I wish I knew. Dagger in hand, I have asked myself the question time and again. What do I believe in? What path should I tread? Over and over, I ask myself. But every time, this silent dagger is the only answer left in my hands. To avenge father, that is all I have, my only reason to live. That is what I believe in, and I have faith that I will see it done. Farewell, Ariana. Oh, my poor lady. So Primrose departs from Still Snow, the path before her yet long. Two men still await the kiss of her dagger. And now she knows where the next stop on her journey will be. The truth will be found in Noble Court, her hometown. So she turns her feet in the fa to the flatlands, returning to the beginning in hopes she might bring her journey to an end. And that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure we've had so far. I just want to see if Tressa is ready. No, not yet. 
So I hope you guys are enjoying this journey that we've been having with Octopath Traveler because what's going to happen next is going to be a switch in our usual approach. And I'm going to explain that here and now because I have the time. So what we've done so far is we've followed pretty much a circular story where we started from one town, gone to another, and gone to another, and gone to another, and we've done no exploration and no uh, kind of looking about. In the next step of our journey here, I'm going to be returning to... Actually, I want to find where Alfin is. So Alfin is here. So I'm going to be returning to Boulderfall. And what we're going to do is we're going to start here and complete all the side quests in this town. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head towards Quarry Crest as we look through some caves and dungeons. Then we're going to look around north. No, I'm going to change that up. We're going to start with Quarry Crest and head out and find this location here on the map. I wish I can zoom in a little bit more, but basically it looks like a Stonehenge place on the map. And then we're going to immediately jump up here to... Hmm, how do I want to approach this then? Basically what we're going to do is we're going to be making our approaches to these Stonehenge buildings around the entire kingdom. Or land. I think what I'm going to do... Oh, actually... We're going to start... Hmm. Where do I want to start with this then? I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to start in the Sunlands and head south because we haven't even been here yet. So we're going to do that. We're going to go... We're going to travel from Still Snow in a fast... Fast forward sequence down here to Eastern Sunshade. Travel south. Go into town and do our usual town thing but we're gonna not do any of the quests because I want to find these ruins around each of the region each each environment has one and it's going to introduce us to a new mechanic which is good because it's going to change up how we're going to approach our team and party building. I know that's very confusing to understand in the three minutes that I've explained it because I kept changing my mind on things. But next time I will reiterate what we're doing so that you guys have a clear sense of what my next approach to this series is going to be like. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button. And subscribe if you have not for more Octopath Traveler content. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.